I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am so excited to share the information in this video with you. It is about how I keep my skin firm at 63 years old. Yes, I am 63. I had a birthday on April 22nd. And you know, age really is just a number and we can do things that help us look good from a physical perspective and also feel our best from an emotional perspective. And one of the things I do is affirmations and lately I've been doing the affirmation. What is it? It is... I am aging in reverse. I am aging in reverse. I am aging in reverse. And if you'd like to see some more information about my affirmations, and it's actually my kind of affirmation program, and I think it really does work. It kind of encompasses the law of attraction, the law of attraction. I just screwed that up. But it is an absolutely wonderful thing to add happiness and beauty to your life. Okay, let's get into this. And I am not going to show you before and after pictures, but many of you have been saying, you know, your skin is looking firmer, Beth. How are you doing that? And of course, I do face yoga, and I will link one of my face yoga videos below. And I've been doing it now for about 10 months, and I think it makes a huge difference in the firmness of one's skin. The whole idea behind the face yoga is that we have muscles all over our body, and they look better when they're exercised and firm. And we also have muscles all over our face, and our face tends to bag and sag as their muscles lose their firmness. They, they're no longer taut. They sort of like hang there. And that is what the face yoga, I think, has been doing for me. And that is that it has been firming up my face. And again, I'll link that video below. Another thing that I think is very helpful, I have been using this now for a couple of years, and I think it takes that amount of time, or at least maybe a year, to really see the difference of adding collagen to your diet in terms of the firmness of your skin. And this is a great brand because it's not as expensive as the Vital Proteins brand that I started out with. This is the Science Research Collagen Peptides Hydrolyzed Type 1 and 3 Collagen. And I just take one scoop of this every single morning in a hot cup of coffee. It has no taste. You know, I stir it up, but you don't even really have to do that but I really think this is helping my collagen stay strong. And before I get into the information on how I do derma rolling, and I will show you that, I would like to urge you to join my channel, join the 50 Plus Beauty family and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here with me to start this conversation with you about the things you're doing to help yourself look and feel your best, and I will be sharing the things I do too. Now, before I get into the derma rolling, I don't do a lot of makeup videos, but every now and then I do like to show you a makeup product that I am loving. And this is the blush that I have on. Very pretty, and it has a little bit of a highlight to it, a little bit of a glimmer and gleam, which I like as we get to be a little more mature. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush Swish and Pop Blusher in Love Glow. And it's very interesting, look at that. It has the little center matte area, and then it has all of this wonderful shimmer on the outside, a little peachy shimmer. It is super natural, but it does just give you a wonderful pop. And I like that they call it Love Pop because that is exactly what it does. I'm sorry, this is Love Glow. And I will show you another Charlotte Tilbury product that I have loved for probably three years. And I've gone through maybe three of these. They last a long time, a little more expensive, but they last a long time. This is the Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. And I wear it in two medium, whoops, and there it is. And it's just a little powder, but it is very, very neutral looking. I had some shine on my face before I started this morning and I put it on. I should have waited. I don't need to powder again because I will look like the Crypt Keeper if I keep at it. But this is a fantastic, fantastic pressed powder. If you want to look natural, get rid of the oil shine that you have on your face and kind of airbrush everything and make it look kind of flawless. And that is one thing that Charlotte Tilbury is known for is her flawless finished products. And this is a great one. Okay, let's get down into derma rolling. And as some of you who followed my channel know, you know that I did a series on saggy body skin and how to improve that using a derma roller. And in that video, I used this derma roller, which is a 1.5 mm. So it's a pretty hefty, deep needle. There's my hair on it. Um, but I use this all over my body, arms, legs, whatever. And I will link that video below because those are some phenomenal results I'm getting firming up, sagging skin, you know, handling crepey skin, that kind of thing. This is a great thing. And I started recently derma rolling my face. And in just a few moments, I'll show you that video. 
For a while, I was using the 0.5 mm derma roller, and as you can see there, it just has little tiny quills on it, 0.5 mm, and I was using it all over my face just one day a week. And when I was doing that, I was using hyaluronic acid with it, and this is really just for the slip factor. This is a humectant, it adds moisture to your skin, but more importantly, it just kind of helps you you know, make the derma roller glide around instead of maybe, you know, cut you. So I think this is really helpful, especially if you use this depth, which is a 0.5, pretty hefty depth needle once a week. Now, I started out derma rolling once a week, and I will show you that process, but I have now been derma rolling more than once a week, and I will tell you about that after this video. But first, I'll show you my 0.5 weekly derma rolling session. Now I will say that when I first started out on the facial derma rolling, I did use some Asper cream, which is lidocaine for pain, but there really isn't a lot of pain. I'm very, very used to this. But if you are a little bit nervous about needles, then you might want to go out and get some lidocaine and you just put this all over your face and neck if you're going to be derma rolling your neck. And then you let it sit there about 20 minutes and then you wash it off, you wipe it off because you don't want to be pressing the lidocaine chemicals into your skin, that just would not be good. But again, I don't use this anymore, I don't need this. Okay, there was a huge black spot on my skin right here, and what that was is last night I did a charcoal mask. I'm into masking lately, I'm studying masks, and so black stuff was all over my face. It was not good, but anyway, that's what that was. Okay, getting back to this, again, this is a 0.5 derma roller, and I'll put a link below the video so you can Get your own if you don't have one. And being very clean is super, super, super important. So what I do is I get in the habit of always having alcohol here. And I have this under my counter. I know just where it is. And after I derma roll, I clean this off with water. And then I give it about five spritzes with the alcohol. And then I let it sit out and dry so that alcohol has a chance to work. And even before I use it again, because this has been sterilized last week when I derma rolled, I'll go ahead and give it another spritz of the alcohol. And this is just alcohol you buy over the counter. And just give that just a few seconds to kind of do its thing. And then I go ahead and I run it under some water because I don't want to press the alcohol into my skin. And a lot of people ask what products I use before and after I derma roll. And the answer is none. And I'm going to be doing some more research to see if there really are safe products I can apply after. Because of course they say, especially when you use the cosmetic depth derma roller, the 0.25, that it helps the ingredients that you're putting on your skin to sink in. Um, but I'm a little worried about introducing things under my skin that shouldn't be there. For instance, I've heard a lot of you say that you use vitamin C after derma rolling and don't ever do that because when you derma roll your skin and then use vitamin C, it's introducing all of those chemicals, that vitamin C below your skin, and it can cause very hard lumps in your skin called granulomas, and there is nothing that can be done about those. So you can ruin your skin. So if I were you and you were just starting out, I would not use anything after you derma roll. Okay, let me go ahead. This has had enough time to soak in the alcohol. Just put a little water on that there. Okay. And what I use for my slip factor, and hold on, it's not here. Okay, <laughs> I should be prepared. Well, anyway, this is hyaluronic acid, and this is a great humectant. It really encourages moisture retention by the skin. And I get this, this is the Timeless brand, huge bottle. I just find it's very easy. And also, I wash my hands before, very important to have clean hands. And so you're just going to take some of that hyaluronic acid, and you're going to put it over the first quarter of your face where you're going to start the derma rolling. So I'll just do this, this, this side of my face. And this is pretty easy. You just start here, one, two, three, four, five. And I go up in the temples, one, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm not drawing blood, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna go across, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and this under eye area, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go on a diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five,
Then you're going to go the other way, diagonal, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the forehead because I will speed up the tape when I do the other part of my face, because you've already seen that. I don't want to bore you to death. And then I just put the hyaluronic acid all over my forehead and it's exactly the same pattern. I'm going to go up and down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Stay ready. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, eleven areas. One, two, three, four, five. 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 It does not hurt if you're wondering. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't feel great, but it doesn't hurt. Three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. A few little hairs were getting down there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do it at a diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Now the last diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The forehead doesn't feel very good. Two, three, four, five. It's my least favorite. One, two, three, four, five. And then the neck. The neck doesn't feel very great either. Okay, there's the forehead, and as you can see, it's just gotten nice and red, and I've got a little red cheek going there. And while I'm thinking about it, I will go ahead, I don't need hyaluronic acid, but I always roll the eyebrows, two, three, four, five, and the upper brow, and I'm just going to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, and then I do this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to grow my eyebrows, two, three, four, five, and apparently dermal rolling is known to help grow hair. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll do diagonals. This one's kind of inexact because I feel like this is just a bonus area. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do my nose while I'm here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this one, I don't really go diagonal because you can't do that with your nose. I just go up and down a few times. Here we go. Ah, itchy nose. I'm going to do my chin area. Now, another area I like to do is the nasal folds, and I do them kind of separately. Even though I'm overlapping a little bit on what I just did, it does not bother me. And another thing that I didn't mention is that on some of the areas of your skin where you're kind of flabby, you can use your other hand to the derma roller to kind of smooth that out to make sure you get in those wrinkles. Well, let's go ahead and do the cheeks, and I'll speed this up. Okay, there is how the whole face looks. It's just a little bit red, not bad at all. Okay, let's do the neck. We'll get some more hyaluronic acid here. And the neck is again a little bit inexact, but we'll kind of do the same pattern. Up and down five times. And I do half of the neck at a time. One, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Do the other side silently so I can speed it up. The last step is the decollete, and I think this is important to do this. Just do a few more. <laughs> okay, there I am. I have done my derma rolling session, my weekly derma rolling session, and that probably took about 10 minutes and it does not hurt. 
Okay, that was a look at my weekly sessions using the 0.5 dimmer roller, and here it is. But recently I have been doing some study of the research, and what they are saying now is they used to think that the cosmetic depth of dermal roller, which is 0.25 or 0.3, this happens to be a 0.3, which is you can't see it, but the quills are very, very short. They, they hardly pierce the skin, and you definitely would have no bleeding with this. And I have to say that even with the 0.5, I am not one of these that thinks that you need to rip up your skin to do this because just the, the weight of the little quills alone is making little punctures in your skin and it is regrowing that collagen as the skin repairs itself. So I don't think you need to see blood, so please don't do that. And certainly with the cosmetic depth roller, which is only a 0.3, you're going to see no blood at all. You know, it's just going to feel, it doesn't even, it doesn't really even hurt. I think it feels kind of good. I, I don't use any kind of a numbing cream or anything like that. And actually, even with a 0.5, I am so used to it when I do my weekly derma rolling, I no longer use any kind of numbing cream. But this is a 0.3, and now I am doing this about every other night on my skin. And I normally say that I don't use any products afterward. However, with the Cosmetic Depth Derma Roller, it is so mild in terms of its depth, it's so short, that I go ahead and wash my face and then I use this all over my face just like I did using the 0.5 face and neck and then I do go ahead and apply the rest of my skincare. The only product that I really worry about applying after and I would never apply after derma rolling even with the short cosmetic depth derma roller Vitamin C has been known sometimes to cause a problem called granulomas if you use it after you have derma rolled your skin. And what granulomas are is hard little knots under your skin and they don't go away. There is nothing that can be done about them. So I'm very wary of vitamin C. And quite honestly, except for the products that I use in the evening, I'm very wary of using any products after the derma rolling just because, you know, I'm a little bit afraid that, you know, maybe in one of the products there would be something that would not be good to introduce into the depths of my skin. And the skincare that I use after I apply this is my standard skincare in the evening. And let's see, what have I been using? I've been using the Obagi Blender mixed with my Tretinoin, and I used the 0.5. I put that on. And also, I've been using a great product that kind of nulls the look of your pores. It is a Clinique Pore Minimizer product, and I will link that below. And I'm not sure the science behind that particular product, but I do like it because I think it does minimize at least the look of my pores. And the last thing that I apply is just a good moisturizer with lipids, and I will link that information below. Okay, that was a look at how I firm my skin using the derma roller, and I really think it's working. And if you are also interested in anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe to the 50 Plus Beauty family. It's a great family here, all about beauty, makeup, skin care, and good attitude adjustments to help us make our second half our best half. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I have been reading from these cards, The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. And you can find these cards on Amazon, by the way. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and choose a card to think about. Hopefully a good positive thought. Releasing anger towards family members. Ooh, releasing anger towards family members. And as those of you who followed my channel know, my sister and I own a company together. That's what I do on my day job is we have this managed care type company together. And once in a while we have sister issues. And even on Friday, we had kind of an angry thing. We disagreed about doing something in business and we own our company 50-50. So when we have a disagreement, it's hard to figure out which way to go. Today, I will accept the potent emotions I may feel toward members of my family and I'll be grateful for the lessons they're teaching me. I accept the golden light of healing that is shining all around us. Oh friends, I absolutely love that card. And first, I love that phrase, accept the golden light of healing. And I have been doing a lot of spiritual study. And in very many different books about spirituality, they always talk about the golden light of heaven, the golden light, you know, healing in the golden light, seeing yourself surrounded by golden light. And with regard to my sister, I think sometimes when we're angry, we need to give them what we would like to receive. So right now, I am thinking of my sister in that situation and I'm surrounding her in a golden light of love. I'm sending her love. I'm sending her healing. 
I'm sending her in that golden white light everything I would like to have in my own life. Sister, I do love you. And anyway, as you're going through your day, remember when you get angry towards family members, give them what you would like to receive. And sometimes that is the golden light of love. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.